Hello students, today we are going to see part 2 of our paper discussion on chapter units and dimension, April attempt. So, if you have not watched part 1, link is in the description, make sure you check it out. So, in last part we have discussed about dimension, dimension analysis, what are the short method to handle the dimension formulas. So, today in this part we will continue with the dimension analysis and then we will see propagation of error and to find the least count of an instruments. And also don't forget to join our Instagram and WhatsApp channel. Links are in the description for regular update and quizzes. So now let's see the questions. We'll see the first question. In an electromagnetic system, the quantity representing ratio of electric plus and magnetic plus has a dimension of, so they have given the dimension format, okay. So here they're asking the value of Q and R. Q is a power of length and R is a power of time, okay. So to handle this question, first we have to find the ratio of electric flux and magnetic flux. So, the electric flux formula that is equal to E dot ds, okay. So, coming to the magnetic flux that is equal to V dot ds or dA, okay. So, we have to find the ratio. So, surface area will get cancelled. Balance, you will get it as electric field by magnetic field. So, with respect to electric field and magnetic field, we have a formula that is velocity of flight. So, that is equal to velocity of flight. So, we know the dimension formula for velocity that is L t power minus 1. Is it okay? So, here it has L power Q and T power R. So, in the place of Q, you have 1. In the place of R, you will have minus 1. So, we will check the option. Option 4 is the right answer. Next question. This also has the same pattern like a previous question. In an electromagnetic system, the quantity defined as ratio of electric dipole moment and magnetic dipole moment has a dimension of so, first we have to find the ratio of electric dipole moment that is P and magnetic dipole moment which is M. Okay. So, first we will take the formula for the electric dipole moment formula Q into 2L and for the magnetic dipole moment we have a formula NIA where N is a number of turns, I is a current, A is a area. So, now we will substitute the dimension formula. So, here 2 is a constant so we will not consider this. Again N is a number of turns. That is also a constant we don't want to consider. Okay. So, in the place of charge, we can take a formula. Current is equal to charge by time. Right. So, in the place of charge, we can write current into time. So, in the place of charge, I am going to substitute I into T and length L by again I into A. So, current, current will get cancelled. But T is a time period. We will take it as capital T power 1 for length L power 1. And in denominator, you have an area. For area, it's meter square, that is L square. So, L, L will get cancelled. So, this will go to the numerator, which is L power minus 1, T power 1. Okay. So, now we will compare with the question. So, they are asking P and Q. So, P is the power of mass. But here, we didn't get the dimension formula for the mass. So, P is 0. And then, they are asking Q. Q is the power of L. So, length has minus 1. So, Q is equal to minus 1. So, 0, comma, minus 1. We will check the option. Option 4 is the right answer. We will see the next question. The equation for a real gas is given by, they have given the equation where P is a pressure, V is a volume, T is a temperature. They are asking to find the dimension of A, B power minus 2 is equivalent to. So, first of all, we have to find the dimension of the constant A and B. So, in the equation, all the terms will have the same dimension. That is, where P is a pressure, it is a first term. A by V square is the second term. For this both the term, the dimension has to be equal. So, the dimension of pressure is equal to the dimension of A by V square. Okay. So, just we can simplify the pressure. For pressure, we can take a general formula. That is force by area is equal to A by V square. Okay. Now, we will substitute the dimension formula. In the place of force, I am going to substitute ML T power minus 2. So, area is L square that is equal to constant A by where volume, volume is meter cube that is L power 3. So, L power 3. Since we have square, we can take the square. Okay. So, now we will reform the formula that is L, L will get cancelled. Balance M. This uh, L power by plus 1 will go to the numerator that will become minus 1. L power minus 1, T power minus 2. Here we have 3 twos are 6, L power 6 that will come to the opposite side. L power plus 6 that is equal to A. So, A is equal to m l power 5 t power minus 2. Okay. So, this is the dimension formula for A. Same way we can find for B. So, here B is the volume. It is a first term. B is a constant. That is a second term. 
for these both term also the dimension has to be equal so the dimension of volume has to be equal to the dimension of b okay so b is equal to dimension of volume is l power 3 okay so now we'll substitute in the question that is a by b square so a by b square is equal to in the place of a we found the dimension formula that is m l power 5 t power minus 2 by in the place of b we have a dimension formula l cube so here we have square so we can take the square that is equal to m l power 5 t power minus 2 by l power 6 so if we cancel this means there will be l power 1 it will go to the numerator so a by b square is equal to m l power minus 1 t power minus 2 okay so this is the dimension formula of a by b square okay so now we have to compare with the options so here strain don't have a dimension formula and for the Planck's constant and compressibility so how to find the dimension formula that we have seen in the previous video so if you don't see that video means the link of the video is in the description so don't forget to see the video so now we will check the energy density okay so for energy density the formula is energy per unit volume so already we have discussed always we have to know the dimension for the energy that is m l square t power minus 2 for the volume it's l power 3 so if we cancel this means l square this will get cancelled so balance m l power minus 1 t power minus 2 okay so we got the same dimension so the dimension of a by b square is equal to the dimension of energy density so option 4 is the right answer next one it's the most important question so we have to derive using dimensional analysis given a charge q current i and permeability of vacuum mu naught which of the following quantity has a dimension of momentum so first of all we have to write the dimension for all the quantity so for the charge for the charge we can take the formula current is equal to q by t okay so charge q is equal to i into t so the dimension for current let it be i and time period t okay so this is the dimension for charge and second one for current we can write it as i itself because it's a fundamental quantity next we have to go for permeability that is mu naught so to, to find the dimension formula for permeability you can take any formula i am going to take a formula that is force between two parallel wire that is f is equal to mu naught i1 i2 l by 2 pi d so i am going to choose this formula here 2 pi is a constant so we can neglect that so we need mu naught so we're going to reform the equation that is f d by i1 i2 length l is equal to mu naught so we'll substitute the dimension so for the force we can substitute m l t power minus 2 for distance it is l for current it's i again i for length we'll write it as l so here l and l will get cancelled so balance we can write it as mu naught is equal to m l t power minus 2 i power minus 2 so this is the dimension for mu naught okay and last one we have to find the dimension for momentum so for momentum it's mass into velocity so for mass it is m for velocity meter per second that is l t power minus 1 so this is the dimension for momentum okay so now we'll start to derive so first of all we have to find the quantity which is under the dimension of momentum so we can write the equation momentum is proportional to first quantity is charge charge power a second one is current i power b and third one is permeability mu power c okay we have to find the power of a b c for that we have to find the respective dimension formula so for the momentum we can substitute m l t power minus 1 okay that is proportional to for the charge we can substitute as i t power a again for current it's i only i power b for mu naught it's m l t power minus 2 i power minus 2 power c is it okay so now we'll relate on both the sides okay so here we have mass power 1 so we can write it as 1 is equal to here you don't have mass here also we don't have a mass here we have a mass that is 1 into c that is equal to c so we found what is c okay second one for length so we know that is 1 so 1 is equal to here we have 1 1 into c that is equal to c so again you got the same equation c is equal to 1 last one is time period so minus 1 so minus 1 is equal to here we have 1 into a a again 
here we have minus 2 into c minus 2c okay so we know what is c which is 1 so minus 1 is equal to a minus 2 it's going on the opposite side so 2 minus 1 is equal to a so a is equal to 1 a is also 1 okay last one you have to find the current also so on the left hand side we don't have a current so we'll substitute as 0 0 is equal to here it is 1 into a a plus again 1 into b plus b again we have minus 2 into c so minus 2c okay so we know what is a and c we'll substitute in the equation so 0 is equal to in the place of a 1 plus b minus 2 okay so 0 is equal to 1 minus 2 is minus 1 plus b so b is equal to plus 1 okay so this is b okay so we'll substitute in the equation that is momentum is proportional to charge in the place of a 1 current power in the place of b 1 mu naught power in the place of c 1 so the momentum is proportional to q mu naught i we'll check the option option 2 is the right answer next question it's a simple one a person measures mass of three different particles they have given the value according to rule for the arithmetic operation with significant figure and addition of mass of three masses so the original method is we have to sum up all these three value and using the number of significant figure we have to find which answer is correct okay so or else we can use a, a short method a short trick to handle this question first of all we have to find the number of decimal in each value so here we have two decimal here we have one decimal and here we have three decimal okay so in the question the least number of decimal is one okay so the least number of decimal is one so that in answer also the least number of decimal has to be one only so we can check the option only in option three we have the decimal which is one so option three is the right answer so next one is propagation of error so we have to write the percentage error for this equation that is we have given c is equal to p q square by r power 3 so root s so we can write it as s power 1 by 2 okay so you have to write in the form of percentage that is in the place of c del c by c into 100 that is equal to p power 1 so 1 into del p by p into 100 plus q square we can write it as 2 into del q by q into 100 okay plus we have r cube so 3 into del r by r into 100 and at last plus 1 by 2 del s by s into 100 okay so they have given the percentage value for p it is 1 q it is 2 and r 3 and s is 2 so we'll substitute the value that is equal to the percentage of p is 1 1 percentage plus 2 into in the place of q 2 percentage plus 3 the percentage of r is 3 percentage plus 1 by 2 in the place of s we can substitute 2 percentage okay so now we'll do the calculation this will be 1 okay so 1 plus 2 twos of 4 plus 3 threes are 9 plus 1 so it will be 15 percentage answer will be 1515 next one a quantity q is formulated as they have given the equation where x, y, z are independent parameter which has a fractional error of 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.5. They are asking maximum fractional error. Fractional error means relative error. First, we will take the equation that is q is equal to x power minus 2, y power 3 by 2 and z power minus 2 by 5. Okay. So, we will write the equation in the place of q. We will substitute del q by q that is equal to so in the case of error always the error will get add up only so we should not use minus sign or we should not subtract a error so here you have minus 2 but we have to substitute as plus 2 only because always the error will get add up only so 2 into del x by x plus in the place of uh, y we have a power as 3 by 2 we can write it as 3 by 2 into del y by y and here also in the power we have minus 2 by 5 but we have to take plus only so plus 2 by 5 into del z by z okay so here 2 into the fractional error of x they have given it as 0 0.1 so in the place of del x by x we have a substitute as 0 0.1 plus 3 by 2 in the place of y that is 0 0.2 plus 2 by 5 in the place of z we have a fractional error of 0 0.5 okay so now we will calculate this will become 0 0.1 this will be 1, this will be 0 
here it is 0 0.2 plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.2 so that will be 0 0.7 okay so we'll check the option option 3 is the right answer last question they asked to find least count of a traveling microscope so to find the least count formula least count is equal to 1 mst minus 1 vst so for that we have to find what is 1 mst and 1 vst okay so now we'll see the question for the determination of refractive index of a glass slab the traveling microscope is used whose main scale contains 300 equal division equal to 15 centimeter so in the main scale so the 300 equal division that is equal to 15 centimeter so now we have to find what is one division so one division is equal to 15 by 300 centimeter so if we cancel this means this will be 1 and 20 so 1 by 20 is 0 0.05 centimeter so we got one division in main scale so one main scale division is equal to 0 0.05 centimeter is it okay so this is one main scale division okay then we'll continue with the question the vernier scale attached to the microscope as 25 division equal to 24 division on main scale so this condition we can write in the form of equation that is 25 division on vernier scale that is 25 bsd that is equal to 24 division on main scale that is msd okay so we'll write it as 1 vsd so 1 vsd is equal to 24 by 25 msd okay so this is 1 vsd now we'll substitute in the formula that is equal to 1 msd minus in the place of 1 vsd we can substitute 24 by 25 msg okay so we'll cross multiply so 24 minus 25 is 1 by 25 msg okay that is equal to 1 by 25 in the place of msg we can substitute as 0 0.05 so we can cancel it in a fifth table this will be 0 0.01 this will be 5 so 1 by 5 is 0 0.2 so if I calculate this means this will be 0 0.00 2 centimeter okay fine so we'll check the option option 2 is the right answer okay students let us end the session if you have any doubt or queries regarding this video please do comment in the comment box and to watch more video like this don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you students